All right. Uh, so previously, uh, we saw um, we tested our we tested our model. Okay, we tested our model, wrote some few tests, and um, we also tested um, the queries. Yeah, we tested some queries. Um, where is that? The queries. So we tested some queries, uh, and one of the ones we tested is this for all employees. And what we saw is that uh, we just, um, you know, execute the query as we would execute it uh, in graphical yeah and uh, this would uh, work pretty well so in this video we are looking at how to test uh, the mutations okay the mutation uh, basically a mutation allows us to uh, you know change data or create new data um, in you know you know uh, in our database yeah so uh, it's graphql's way of you know providing input to our back end and um, making any changes whether it is create update or delete yeah so i have my three functions are uh, if, if i may go back to my schema uh, where did I put my schema? So my schema here has um, three uh, mutations. There is one for creating, and then one for updating, and one for deleting. You know, like we earlier said, uh, for any mutation, this section under arguments, uh, these are the, you know, you know, these are the fields we provide when creating um, our employee or this acts as input uh, to our mutation, yeah? And then this is what we return and then this is the functionality for, uh, we have a class, you know, a mutate method where our functionality uh, for, you know, creating goes. Same thing on update, same thing on delete. So um, our interest is to check uh, this, uh, you know to test these these methods so um our tests are here are you know under employment then we have model tests uh, as schema tests so uh, i have a test for create employee mutation and update employee mutation and uh, delete employee mutation so for starters i'm going to first comment out these tests um up to there boom so what i want to do is i want to run the coverage and then we see uh, what the coverage shows so coverage again coverage is uh, a tool that we install um if i say pip show coverage you see it's already installed but we install it like pip install coverage yeah I made a video on this earlier. So I'll just run coverage. I might test using coverage. Run minus M uh, pi test. Okay. Boom. All right. So if I say coverage um, report. So I see that in my schema, I have 79%. Let me actually say coverage HTML. And then I will get, um, I come here. I run the HTML by opening it with live server. Uh, so under uh, this open here actually. So if I go under schema, we can see that I have 47 statements. 37 have been run and 10 are missing tests. And we can see that create employee, update and delete are all missing tests yeah so those are the tests that we want to create all right so i commented them out uh, for that reason so that we could see the coverage all right so now uh creating these tests is you know mostly similar with how we created the ones for queries so all we do is really are uh, you know create the method and then you know uh 
add this mutation the same way we would create it uh, in graphical so if if i'm to run this this is already running so if i'm to uh, come here graphical all right so if for example i let me let me just take this mutation uh all right so this would be my mutation for example for creating uh, employee so if i come under create employee under mutations so you can see create employee i take three you know three arguments and then i return employee so the same thing i'm trying to do here so if i create this this actually creates a record in the database um if i am to go admin boom we can see that this just got created so our what we are doing in the test here we are executing this mutation on the client this you know client is uh defined here already um and it is provided from graphene test so we execute the mutation on the client the same way we did and we test the expected result so this is the result that we expect you know same thing we did here and then uh for example if we made an error here and for example did this and try to run we get errors yeah we get an an array of errors so we also want to test and make sure that we don't have errors uh, as, so we are asserting to test if the result is the expected which is this and also asserting to see to make sure that we don't have errors in the result so if we don't have errors in the result then it means that it's ex it executed um successfully but if we have errors in the result like if if i run this by test it runs well but let's say i do something like this i i i i do maybe remove that because i know this this will now be wrong because we don't have fast num <laughs> so this this will fail all right so uh you know we see assert errors are uh, so are uh, it found errors yeah and we are asserting to make sure errors not in results so since it found errors this test is going to fail yeah all right and if i put it back and then the test passes yeah so our uh, the same way we really uh, wrote because we, we really with the mutation we just really need to check that uh our what we are executing are on our um on our client and the result we get we assert it and then we check if there are errors uh, the same thing basically for update but what we do an update we first like create a record and then we try to update it and then we test you know uh, the returned result and then also check for errors are uh, and then since we are dealing with database of course this sort of like uh, creates a record in the test database we have to use this um this decorator pi test mark django db otherwise it will fail it will uh, cause an error so if for example i remove this for any test that uses the database we have to you know inform pi test uh, so if we for example remove that it says database access not allowed but if we put it back uh, we are all good all right so that's all about this um all right thank you